Good morning, friends, and happy Monday. It's raining again. <laughs> it rained all day yesterday. It's going to rain pretty much all day today, and I think it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. But we are leaving for Birmingham tomorrow morning. Uh, Brian has a business trip that he has to go on again tomorrow. This was a last minute thing. This is something that ha that came up last week. Um, and he has to go to this um, uh, company because they are interested in the software and um, he that's what he has to do. So we are gonna be leaving tomorrow morning about 8 a.m. for Birmingham. We're only gonna be there for one night. Um, he doesn't have to be there till tomorrow afternoon sometime, but we have to leave here at eight o'clock tomorrow morning because it takes about four hours to get there. Um, Brian's mom and dad are also coming with us, but they are gonna be driving separately because they were gonna leave here Thursday anyway. Um, but they're now they're leaving with us to go to Birmingham and they're gonna spend the rest of the evening with us tomorrow. And then Wednesday, I guess we're just gonna part ways, but they're gonna go visit some family that's over there in Alabama on Wednesday when um, Brian has to be in Talladega most of the day on, on Wednesday. And I'm just gonna hang out and do whatever <laughs> on Wednesday. So uh, yeah, so that's kind of like what's going on here. Um, I would, I, if, if Brian's parents weren't here, I probably wouldn't go to Birmingham. Um, and I'd probably just stay here. But since they are here, um, and not that I can't stay at home with them alone or whatever, but it's just kind of like, mm, what are we going to go do? And, you know, they want to visit with their son as well. So I just thought, well, we'd all just make a trip over to Birmingham. So tomorrow, while Brian's at this company, um, his mom and dad and I are going to go over to, um, I think Barber Motorsports and go tour the museum over there. So that should be fun afternoon for us. And then we'll all have dinner. We're going to stay at the same hotel. And then, like I said, we're going to part ways on Wednesday. But um, yeah, so that means today I've got to get some stuff done around here. I have to pack and I have to get Brian's like um, stuff together that he has to wear to the company tomorrow. Obviously, I have to pack some of my clothes up for one night stay. And uh, I might do it for two nights stay just in case because you never know what might change so um yeah so that's what the right now this is what the week is looking like but i've already made up my bed this morning um i've already folded some clothes that i have on the bed right there I, I just threw some towels and some wash rags in the washing machine. I put those, I always put my towels and stuff on sanitized. I don't know. I just feel that it's like a lot better. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, so yeah, so I'm going to be doing all that stuff today, getting some stuff together. I have to mail off another Posh thing that I sold. Yay for Poshmark. And I'm going to be posting a bunch more stuff on there very, very soon. I did put three pair of capris over there. So if you guys haven't um, checked out my Posh Market yet, go and check out my Posh Market. You can find me at Angie Cato my timeline picture on there is the castle so you can't miss it and then you'll see my little profile picture of me uh yeah so <sighs> it's gonna be a busy week stressful hectic and then at the end of the week friday i have a pinners conference that i'm going to be attending with london she's going to be meeting me there so i'm really excited about the pinners conference um that is friday all day long so i will be there most of the day on friday and obviously i'm going to take you guys along to the pinners to the pinners conference so that should be fun but yeah today uh, busy doing stuff around the house packing getting some stuff done i think i might have to go i'm not i have to go pick up the shipping label from brian um, because I want to get that mailed today since we're not going to be here tomorrow and then Yeah, the rest of the week is going to be in Alabama for a little couple for a couple days So I will see you guys a little bit later. Alrighty guys Bye. since I'm out here by Brian's work I decided to stop off at at home the at home store I want to see what kind of cushions they have for my chairs in my bedroom and see if I can find two Like ivory pillows to match or to put in the chairs and that way I can take the pink ones out for now So let's go into it's raining yeah, but we're going to go into at home anyway. I have an umbrella. Let's go do this. So I'm going to be looking for a new rug for our bathroom very soon because I'm getting ready to paint it. But I'm thinking about putting one of these in there. I like that one. That one's $300, so I probably won't. Hmm. They got some good choices of rugs here, though, but I just always think that they're so expensive. They're a little bit pricey here. 
but I do like them. So I settled on these two pillows. I really do like the stripes on them because I love stripes. So these are the two pillows I'm gonna get in their $19.99 piece. Alrighty, so now I gotta stop up at the post office to mail that Posh stuff, which I found out about something about Posh. Like, I'm just learning about it. And um, somebody told me the other day, thank you so much, that um, I could go to the post office and they give me a box for free to ship this stuff with because I have a shipping label. And I've been buying like the little um, like plastic, or not plastic, but the, like the big huge mailers to put these in, um, like the vanilla, manila paper, whatever, the little thingies to mail those stuff in. And, um, but I was told that I could just go to the post office and they wrap it up for me and that's great. But the thing I just forgot is, yeah, they'll do that, but I forgot to, it's back there. I forgot to wrap it in tissue and put a thank you note in it and all that good stuff. Dang it. So maybe I'll just go get a box and do it and mail it tomorrow. Ugh, gripes. Crap, crap. No, I gotta mail it today. I got to mail it today. But I didn't put a thank you note in there. I didn't do any of my tissue. And I always like put tissue in there, make it real thank you y and ugh, so aggravating. My mind is just not working well today. It is not working well. But I'm gonna figure this out and I will let you guys know what I ended up doing. I'm not gonna mail it without the tissue and the thank you note. That is just not gonna happen. So I think I'm just gonna run into the post office really quick and get the box that I need. I wanna find out some information though. Can I grab like a mini, a lot of boxes? Could I just grab, how many boxes can I grab? That's what I wanna know. That is what I want to know. That is what I'm going to find out. So, Alrighty, let's go so find I really didn't figure much out with that. Um, there was a long line at the post office, but there were like an area where you could get boxes and stuff. So I picked up a box. I, I hope I can pick up this box. I picked it up. Um, so I picked up this box. It, I was just following along with what the priority mail thing said on this, and I was just kind of matching it up with this. So I'm hoping that it works. I'm hoping that this is the box that I can use for it and I hope that um yeah, one one rate any any weight. So, I'm hoping that this one works for it. So, we'll figure it out. I got to go take it to the post office and I'll All let right you know. guys. So, we just actually had lunch with Brian. I picked him up and we met his mom and dad over at O'Charlie's and then I just dropped him off and I am running into Hobby Lobby really quick to see if they have any more of those little tiny beads so I can make some more of those cute little house beads that I've been making. I am so in love with making those things. I just get so upset because the little packages that they come in, they don't come with a lot of beads and I really want like a big bag of beads. So I think I'm gonna check Amazon and see if I can get like a big bag of beads. That way I can just like stop going to Hobby Lobby and picking up the small little bags because the small little bags are like $1.99 and I think you only get like 24 in there. So let's go to Hobby Lobby and check it out and then I'm gonna see if they have like a bulk of beads, which I don't think that they do, but we're gonna go try to find out so anyway. this is the aisle where I usually come get them and they're out. So they do not have any more. They just have these. And I bought the last four that were here the other day. So obviously they haven't gotten any more in. That's annoying. But here are these ones, the real dark ones, which those ones would probably be fun to work with too. The darker ones, those are pretty. So maybe I'll try to get these. But anyway, they don't have like big bulks of them anywhere. Like no big bulks. Mm -mm. They just have all those like pretty colors. No bulk. So bead design in bloom in Treehouse Studios is, oh, Treehouse Studios. So they're all 50% off. So these are 50% off. So I'm gonna get some of these. So I think I have been in the wrong spot all this time. Cause look at all of these. I got all this here and they've got all these sizes. Oh my goodness. Okay, but these ones don't have holes in them. Ah yes, no holes. So, and these ones have holes though. Both sides, nope. See, no holes on that side. They're just solid. So these are not the ones that I need. 
but wouldn't these be fun? Those ones would be fun. Oh, I can make a cute out of those. Oh, I'll try those. Trying those. And see, like, these ones don't have a hole all the way through. That's aggravating. I need ones that have holes all the way through. But what else did I see? I saw those. Those are cute. But I wanted to get little, like, hearts. Oh, wait, look here. Do these ones have holes in them? Yeah, they do. But see, there's only six of these. I only get six. And I need, like... Oh, that's annoying. I need a big bag of those. Bulky, bulky, bulk. I'm going to get these, though. I have something else I want to try. So, yes, I'm going to get these. Hey, guys. So, I am back from running my errands and having lunch with Brian and his parents. They went to another um, a flower place and I just decided to come home after I left Hobby Lobby, of course. I did uh, get all that stuff at Hobby Lobby, all the little beads and stuff that I wanted to get. So I got these beads and I got these hearts. I showed you guys, I think, um, that I got these hearts because I'm going to try to put those hearts on the end of some of those as like little tassel at the end of those little house beads. Yeah, something like that. Um, and then I want to show you what came in the mail, which I was so excited. These came in, I think they came in Friday. Yeah, they came in Friday. I'm just now opening them. Um, but these jars came in. These are from Walmart. These are the um, Pioneer Woman Collection jars. And and I absolutely love it. However, this one, when I took it out of the box, was broke. I mean, you can, you can see the crack kind of like right there. But I took some crazy glue and kind of glued it back in there together. And so far, it looks pretty good. I'm not sure how well it's going to hold together if I put this in there and if it's going to like pop when I push it in or something, but I'm not really sure. I'm sure it'll be okay. It seems like it's going to be okay. I don't know. It's not going down. But anyway, that's what these look like. I got two of them. They were like $14, I think, um, on um, walmart.com. And if I can find a link to them, I will put them down below. Uh, but I love these. These are so pretty. And I just love the, how blue that they are. And I mean, I don't even have to put the lids on them, of course. I can just put some flowers in there and just let them like shine through like the windows or whatever. But it's so pretty. Isn't that just the prettiest stuff right here? I love it. So, um, yeah. They look so pretty. And they're pretty big. I mean, this is the size of my hand. And they're pretty large. They're a, quite a large jar. I was um, quite impressed at how large that they were. But I'm hoping that this one doesn't break again. Like I said, I kind of put some crazy glue on it. And so far, it seems to be okay. Um, I do hate the fact that it is broken or that it broke or cracked. But um, I'm not going to, like, make a big fuss about it. But, oh, well, no big deal, right? Alrighty, so now that it is, I think we lost power here because my stove is flashing. But uh, I think the rain has stopped. Um, we are, like I said, leaving for Birmingham tomorrow morning for Brian to... Um, for a business trip and then we found out too that um the people the aunt and family that my in-laws are going to go visit while we're over there um one of them is possibly going into the hospital because she's been having a couple of strokes so just keep her in your thought and your prayers and i think it's a good thing that they're going to go visit her um because if she has to be in the hospital because of these strokes then they're going to go visit her in the hospital I mean, she is an older woman um probably 70s so, um, but anyway, yeah, so that, that's going to work out nicely that they're going to be able to go visit her. Um, but yeah, so now I have to get packing and get some stuff together for our business trip that we have to take. And possibly now we might have to go to Montgomery. I'm going to pack some extra clothes. That way I don't run into the same issue that I ran into last time we were on a business trip. So with that being said, I'm actually going to go ahead and end the vlog here because I have to get this up and edited so you guys can have this up tomorrow morning. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I totally appreciate every single one of you and all of you who subscribe and leave me wonderful comments. I absolutely love it. I thank every single one of you every single day for watching and sticking around with me and hanging out and oh, just all your vibes and happy energy just makes me so happy. So I will see you guys 
tomorrow on Angie Wonderland. Little FYI, depending on the Wi-Fi <laughs> at the hotels or whatever and the timing of everything, I may not have a vlog up on Wednesday because of the travels and the Wi-Fi and whatnots and here, there's, whatever's. Um, but or, And I may not have one up on Thursday either. It just depends on the timing of everything. But I will be vlogging and I will share everything once I get it up. But you guys can still follow me over on um, my Facebook page, which is Angie in Wonderland, Twitter, at Angie, Angie underscore Cato, or you can follow me over on Instagram as well at Angie in the letter N. <laughs>